So I like to use the analogy that buying and selling is a game, right? Because I've been on the buy side, and as a buyer, my challenge in that game was to get uh, as much as I can for what we were going to spend our money on. And I worked for Microsoft, so we were a big company. We had a lot of power in the marketplace. So we would use a command type of a philosophy. I had power. I might be a really little person, but when I have Microsoft's checkbook behind me, I swung a big stick in the marketplace as a, as a procurement professional. And we would hardly ever want to cooperate. Why? We could leverage. We could power buy. If you didn't do what we wanted, don't you want to do our, don't you want to work for Microsoft? You don't know? Maybe, maybe not. If you don't trust me, someone in here will. Right? So uh, we have two philosophies of how we do business. We can go to the marketplace with a command mentality or a cooperate mentality. And if you put this in a simple matrix, this is actually known as a game theory matrix, right? So I have the buyer at the top and the supplier on the side. And so if two parties, the buyer and the supplier, decide to cooperate, to collaborate, to create a win-win, you get a partnership. Right? You get a partnership. If both buyer and supplier choose to command, to use their power in the marketplace, you would, I like to think of that as an 800 pound gorilla, especially if the buyer has a lot of power, they're using their leverage and their power. Um, you have a kind of a, a lose-lose relationship. Now, what really happens is that we often don't get to here or we don't get to the lose-lose, but we stay somewhere in the middle, right? I call this a ping pong match. You win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose some. Now, why is the ping pong match worse than playing an 800 gorilla philosophy? Why do you think? Guys, y'all sit in the middle? Target rich environment to get picked on? Why, do you, why is the ping pong match worse? It takes longer time. What else? You don't know how we do that. You, we don't know, right? It gives us uncertainty. And when we have uncertainty, we have risk. When we have risk, we have to have a risk premium. That time, right, it actually builds up transaction cost economics. So it actually costs us a lot of time and energy and effort to go back and forth and back and forth. So we should have called that off, but instead we're just going to go back and forth. Right? And, and that's not very efficient and effective in the marketplace. Where so Adam Smith said, let's be efficient in our marketplace. What's happened is we've taken it to the extreme and we're in a ping pong match going back and forth and back and forth. So we're exchanging value in the hopes of getting a better deal and we're leaving money on the table right? because we're not working together to improve our return on investments.